In this Shapely tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the union operation between two or more Shapely polygons. The union operation has many synonyms like add, combine, merge. These are all things that you might you know, be thinking how to merge two polygons. Okay, So this is actually the union operation that is applied using the unary union function from the Shapely.operations module. Now, before I actually show you how to apply this operation, I want to show you what these two polygons look like. We're going to apply the unary union operation on these two polygons. But what do they look like? Okay, so I'm going to use matplotlib to actually plot them, show you what they look like, and then merge them, and then show you the visualized result. Okay, so just bear with me for a moment. Okay, poly1.exterior dot x, y, get the x and y coordinates, then we will plot them. Okay, cool. Now we're going to do axis dot plot and x1, y1. If you're interested in learning matplotlib, I'll actually leave a few links down below. Okay, just for some basic matplotlib. All right, but yeah, here, let's run our code. And now we can see our two polygons drawn over here to our screen. Now, if we merge the two of them, this overlapping region should basically disappear. And, and you know, instead of two uh, polygons occupying that area, only one merged polygon will be occupying that area. So let's see how this works. Um, what I'm going to do first is create a list. Okay, list of polygons. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put poly1 and poly2 in here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is make a new polygon called result. We're going to store the result in here. And then we're going to use the unary union function and then pass in this list of polygons to it. Okay, now I'm just going to remove this and we're going to plot the result polygon. All right, x, y is equal to result.exterior.xy. And now, if I run this code, there we go. There's our union operation applied. Basically, union will automatically dissolve any edges that it needs to and merge any edges that it needs to and create new ones if it must. Okay, so here we have our polygon. Great. Now, there's just one more example I want to show you. Okay, one more important concept we need, we need to cover. Basically, if you merge two overlapping polygons, then we'll get the following result, okay, that we just saw, that it creates, it merges and creates new edges. But there is one unexpected scenario that can occur when the two polygons do not overlap. In that case, we're going to get a multi-polygon as the result, not a polygon. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to show you guys this, okay, just remove this. And let's bring this up here. These are the data for two polygons that do not intersect. Okay. And if we do the same thing, actually, um, the problem is over here that I cannot do the same operation. Okay, hold on. Let me just do this. I cannot plot this the same way as I did earlier. I actually need to use this plot polygon function. So let me just do that and I'll leave a link to this as well. All right. Plotting multi polygons is a bit harder. I could write the code for it myself, but that, that would be a bit long. Okay. A bit of a waste of time. All right. So I'm just going to use this function of mine, which I've defined over here. I'll leave the code for it in a separate uh, link in the description. Okay. If you're interested in learning how it works. As hmm. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, plot polygon actually takes a single polygon. All right. Uh, I actually designed it that way. What we do actually is I trade over this multi polygon. Okay. And then we do this. See, this is what the multi polygon looks like. This is the result. This is the union result. It's not combined, obviously, because they were never overlapping in the first place. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let me show you one or two more important things. You can double check the type. 
the type of your result because you may want to take a different action based on whether you got a multi polygon or whether you got uh, a regular polygon as the result from the union, right? So that's just something to keep in mind. Like if it's a normal one, like let me just run this, okay? If I run this, you'll see that we got, uh, where is it? There, multi polygon. You see multi polygon here in the output? That's because it's a multi polygon. And if this was a regular polygon, if these two polygons were overlapping polygons, then we would get polygon as the result of the dot type attribute. So you can use this dot type attribute to basically define if cases, if cases for if if it's a polygon, do that, if it's a multi polygon, do that. Okay. So that's just something to keep in mind. Is there anything else? Mm, I think that's about it. So yeah, you can put in as many polygons here as you want, by the way. There is no real restriction. And let me just uh, show you this, this this warning that you see here. You can resolve it by doing dot geomes because doing it without it is actually uh, uh, old method. It's getting a bit outdated. It's going to be removed eventually. So use dot geomes and then you won't get any warning. Okay, see, no warning. Now that's it. If there's anything else you want to see, any more shapely polygon related code or any advice, tips, or some certain things that you've been having trouble with, do let me know. Okay, I'm currently making videos on Shapely, so I'm taking requests for them currently. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye then.